Hey everyone, it's Eunice and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am going to show you guys how to get this soft glam makeup inspired by Nadine Luster right here. And that is why my hair is up in a bun and I have hoop earrings on because I wanted to like recreate her whole look. I just don't have the same top. So yeah, I think the toughest part of the, this video is trying to put my hair up in a bun and seeing how short it is. It was super hard. Anyway, if you want to know how to get this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so let's wear my headband. There. As usual, we're going to start out with the eyebrows. Nadine kind of has this, you know, kind of a straight eyebrows as compared to me where I were in I have like more of an art eyebrow. So I'm gonna try my best to recreate her straight eyebrow. So I'm using the Benefit Cabrow from my eyebrows and I'm also using this Benefit Eyebrow Brush. So first you wanna comb your brows and try your best to shape it. Since her look is medyo pa straight nga yung brows niya, that's the way that I want my brows to go. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm starting off here at the middle part of my brow with a line. And once that the product has transferred, I'm gonna start going to the to this end of my brow. Because what I want to do is this one's a little bit lighter than this, but it looks more natural. Okay, now that we're done with the brows, we can go ahead and start with our eyes. For primer, I'm using the Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. And then to set that, I'm just using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade Nude Beige. For today, I am using the Wet n Wild Mega Last Katsut Liquid Lipstick. No, mali. So for today's makeup look, I'm using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette. This one is in the shade Not a Basic Peach. And I am starting with the transition shade. Using a fluffy blending brush, I am going to be applying that on my crease. Starting with circular motions on the outer corner and then dragging that inward with windshield swiper motions. Now I'm taking my Wet n Wild Color Icon Eyeshadow Palette in the shade Rosé and the Air. And I'm taking shade number 8 with the same fluffy blending brush. And I'm going to apply that on my crease area as well. That's what's going to soften up the orange tone. Now for the base, what I'm going to do is I am 
going to reapply some of my eyeshadow primer on the lower half of my lid because I'm going to be working with a little bit of shimmer. a flat eyeshadow brush and I'm using shade number three from the not a basic peach palette which is kind of a rosy golden shade Now I'm taking my fluffy blending brush and I'm going back to shade number 8 in Rosé in the air and I'm reapplying that on my crease area just to blend it all together. Now we're going to the face makeup. So for my face makeup, I am starting off with my primer. Today I'm using the First Aid Beauty Coconut Smoothing Primer. It makes my face super moisturized while keeping my makeup on the whole day. She has artista skin or actress skin. She has a kind of a medium coverage foundation on that photo. So the first, the closest thing that I have to that is my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy and Smooth. I'm using the Dewy and Smooth formula because I do have dry skin. So I'm just applying this. You guys know the drill. And I'll be blending this using my Beauty Blender Pro. Oh, before I forget, I used the shade number 235 with the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. And now for concealer, I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Medium Beige or shade number 841B. Now I'm taking this contour palette from Anastasia and I am using these two shades right here to contour my face. And 
I'm going back with my beauty blender to blend that in. To bake my face, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade number 20 Light Medium. Since I do have dry skin, I only bake my face for less than a minute as um, compared to like the usual oily girls out there. So as soon as I apply my powder, I'm going to go in with my I'm going to go in with my Celetech Blush and Face Contour Kit and I'm using the contour shade right here to set my cream contour. So I'm taking my Sigma Small Contour Brush. Now I'm going to dust off the excess powder and use that to set the rest of my face makeup. For bronzer, I'm using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer in the shade Sunlight. And going back to my small contour brush. Okay, so one of the key items in like the makeup look of Nadine Luster was her drunk blush look. So now I'm going back to my Celotec blush blush and face contour palette and I'm using the blush shade right here. I don't know what that's called but it looks like a corally shade. And I'm taking a super fluffy powder brush and that powder brush is going to be key for that drunk blush look. Okay, now let's finish the rest of the eye makeup. Going back to the fluffy blending brush, I'm again taking the transition shade from the Not A Basic Peach palette just to darken up the crease a little bit more because it is a glam look. Now I'm taking a small sponge brush and I am mixing the transition shade with shade number 8 from the Rosé in the Air palette. And I'm going to apply that on my lower tier, lower outer half of my tear duct. Now I'm taking a small lip brush. This is a, the brush that I use for my inner corners when, whenever I apply some shimmer. And I am taking shade number 7 from the Rosé in the Air palette. And I'm going to apply that on my inner tear duct. Now I'm taking this transition shade from the Not A Basic Peach palette. And I'm just going to apply that to my brow bone. Okay, so now I'm just going to line my eyes with the Heroin Make Eyeliner in the shade Black. Now I'm taking this black pencil liner to just tight line my eyes. Now I'm setting the rest of my face makeup with the NYX Matte Finish Setting Spray. 
I'm using this Physicians Formula The Healthy Lip Velvet Finish Lipstick in the shade Tulip since she did have a kind of a tinted lip look. Okay, on top of that, I am applying this ColourPop Luster Dust Loose Pigment Highlighter in the shade Au Revoir. So it's kind of a bronzy gold highlighter. So I'm just applying that in the middle of my lips. Now for mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. Okay, so you can choose to stop right here or you can add false eyelashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some falsies because this is a glam makeup look. But if you're not comfortable applying falsies, then it's also okay to stop right here. Okay, so I went ahead and applied falsies on this eye just to show you guys the difference that the falsies make. So here is the finished makeup look. I actually love it. I love the effect on the lips, like the ombre kind of goldy highlighty effect. I don't know. I just love it. It looks so glamorous and yeah. I feel like I'm gonna use this makeup look as my go-to whenever I go to like occasions in the evening and whatnot. I feel like it's so glamorous but soft enough that I can wear that kind of thing. So yeah, if you like this look, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you want to and you're not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more makeup looks and vlogs. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!